How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review on the channel. Today, we have a... Uh, we're in the pressure. We have Emilio Butraguenu, who we're going to review today, because you guys, you want to see this review. I thought, you know what? Friday, we get the Primus Prime, Prime... Whatever the kind of icons, the moments, or whatever they're called, we get them on Friday. And I thought, you know what? Butraguenu likes of... Um, Del Piero is one of them, Cannavaro is one of them, Tierra and Reese is one of them, George Best is one of them. What happens if Butcher Gueno is one of them? So in terms of me reviewing icons and that, uh, I didn't really want to do them, but I've caved in the pressure. You guys want to Butcher Gueno, so today we're going to review them. So lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that bloody hype. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Uh, and let's aim for 1,000 likes for Emilio Butcher Gueno. I love saying his name, man. I really, really do. Uh, so uh, yeah, 1,000 likes, that would be a It'll be insane, lads. It really, really would. And if you're new to the channel, drop a subscription. It takes two seconds of time. And click that little bell as well. So you would be playing striker in a two striker formation and a one striker formation. Can the five foot six maestro handle it against the best of the best in Ultimate Team? Lads, let's find out. So here we go. Now, immediately you look at the price of the card. It's over 1 million. Well, 1.1 million for the card. 1.1 to 1.2 on the Xbox and 1.1 to 1.4 on the PlayStation. You look at that, and then you look at your skill moves, three star. You look at your side, five foot six. What else does he offer? He offers you five star weak foot, sensational, and medium to low work rates, which I'm not always in favor of because sometimes. You want them on the last man, especially if, like, you've got 95 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, you want them on the last man, the defender. Butcher Gueno, he doesn't really play like that in-game, due to the medium to low work rates. He doesn't get back and help the defense or anything like that, and he rarely goes forward and leads the line because of the medium attack and work rate. However, look at his in-game stats. The strength, it's not there. 65, 51 aggression, it's not there in the size. However, just look at the rest of them. 95 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, as I've already said. 92 attack and position, 95 finish and 87 shot power, 85 long shots and 87 volleys. In terms of the passing category, he's got 89 vision, 85 shot pass, very good for the one twos and whatnot. 79 curve, it's not the greatest start in the world, that is it. But um, you look at the dribbling categories, it's stacked, man. And then you wonder why he's only got three star skills. I really, really wonder that. 91 agility, 90 balance, 91 reactions, 92 ball control, 93 dribbling, and 89 composure. Surely that warrants. Four star skills? Uh, apparently not. He's got uh, 88 head accuracy, 84 jumping, uh, and 84 stamina to boot. And as you can see, uh, he mainly played for Real Madrid and Real Madrid Castilla in his uh, his club Korea. So um, yeah, in terms of uh, being an icon, uh, he is definitely a Real Madrid icon, especially after his 11 years at Real Madrid. Well, almost, let's say 13 years of being in uh, Castilla as well. So in terms of his abilities in game, he will score you goals. It's the first game I used him in, uh, and uh, yeah, sensational movement within the area. As um, you've got to do that with uh, Butcher Gwen on this game. You, you can't like do through balls down the line or anything like that because of the medium uh, attack and work rate. What they normally do is, um, what you want to do actually is play it around the area, pass it back, pass it forward, pass it back, create the angles, and he will have amazing positioning within that area once you push all your players forward. So that is what you want to do with the card. As he, he causes a problem in the air there. He didn't actually win the header. I think it was Gomez's header. That's uh, where it kind of did not set. But this goal is phenomenal. Just look at that first time. Straight man, it's got the power, it's got the accuracy, and it's got the finishing in general. It's got the long shots as well. Sensational strike there from Butcher Gueno. So in terms of the pros of this card, you've got to look at the pace because he's a very nippy striker on this game. He's got 95 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. He's very, very rapid across the, the ground, covering the ground because his little legs, and I'm saying this as uh, someone that's uh, not that tall and not like six foot plus or anything like that. He's got little legs. He's five foot six on this game and it's just comical the way he does run on this match. This match, this game. So, yeah, it's, it's hilarious, man. It really is. But he is fast. He does cover the ground very, very quickly. And that's due to the acceleration and the sprint speed of the card. His close control is phenomenal because it's 92 ball control. And as you can see, on the kind of dribble or anything like that, so whether you're running, whether you're kind of doing the close control dribble and the LTRT or just the LB first touch or anything like that, his ball control is sensational and it's always close to his body. As he wins a header and he puts it in the back of the net. I'm not saying 
by the way, in terms of his hidden accuracy or anything like that, that's a con with the card because he's got 88 hidden accuracy. He's great in the air if he gets a free header. If he's kind of marked or anything like that, he's not going to win the header because of his height being 5 foot 6. I know he's jumping uh, his 84 plus 10 uh, with a marksman chem style, but at the same time, he never ever wins headers. But um, yeah, inside the area, this guy is very dangerous. Don't do stuff like that around him. Don't kind of pass it and like uh, rob his intelligence or anything like that. He'll rob you uh, and he'll score the goal. I didn't even press shoot there, he did it automatically. As you see, a couple of penalties going up, and uh, yeah, he won two out of the three penalties that did uh, convert with Butra Gueno. And um, yeah, he was very good in that sense, especially in the area. He's very tricky, and he does win penalty after penalty after penalty, as you're about to see. As Butra Gueno passes off to Kevin De Bruyne, De Bruyne waits for Butra Gueno, passes it back into Butra Gueno, and um, yes, yeah, a fake shots, and then he goes to the line, and he's just pushed over by Varane, and it's an easy, easy penalty because he's not very strong in this game. Yes, it's a bonus inside the area. Outside the area, it's not too much of a bonus. He gets overrode by defenders, that's taller than him, and he just gets pushed off the ball all the bloody time. In terms of the agility on the card, sensational, he's very agile, he's very uh, evasive on this game. At the same time, if he does get caught, he's losing the ball every single bloody time. His finishing, sensational. Even these penalties are quite good on this game. I think I missed one out of four penalties with Bujagueno, but um, yeah, he's finishing 95. You can't say that's bad in any sense of the imagination. And his weak foot, he's primarily right footed on this game is Bujagueno. But you've seen that banger early on with his left foot, he can definitely score on that weak foot, the five star weak foot. So you look at players like Kyo Minson, um, with Sam Ben Yedder, I do believe he's got a five star weak foot. So you look at players like that, kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of compared to this card and stuff. Um, yeah, he's not as, um, I don't know, as. I don't, I don't know the word, man. I, I'm, I'm looking for the word. He's not as apparent using that five-star weak foot as the others because he uses it kind of sneakily because he just gets shots off with that five-star weak foot all the time and he is very accurate. However, with the cons of these cards, um, well, this card in general, there is a lot of cons. You look at the height of the card, it's not great. You look at the movement of the card, it's not great. The three-star skills, it's not great. And uh, the strength as well. The strength in general just isn't, it's not good with the card. He's, he's got no fight in him, he's got no strength in him. And like I said, he gets overawed by the taller center backs due to the height of the card. He doesn't win any headers, again, due to the height of the card. He's five foot six. Yes, he's got 94 jump with a marksman chem style, but he just never ever wins the header. So you've got to look at that, and you've got to look what does he offer you as his striker in terms of that rule. Well, the five foot six, it doesn't offer you hold up ability. It doesn't offer you kind of head and accuracy or goal kicks, kind of holding the ball up or anything like that. He doesn't offer you that. What this card is, or should be, is a poacher playing on the last man of defense. But at the same time, he's got a medium to low work rate. So he doesn't play like that. And the free star skills, I don't know why he's got that. It's, it's baffling to me because his dribble category is stacked all above 90 apart from composure. He should have four star skills in my personal opinion. Looking at those stats, I never, I wasn't around, I wasn't old enough to see this guy play or young enough or anything like that. Um, so I don't know if he wants it off real life, but just looking at his stats, he definitely wants four star skills. And uh, the strength of the card is uh, it's no bueno from me. And speaking of Spanish, uh, Emilio Butragueno will get the rates and all. And it's 0.9. That's me speaking Spanish right there. No bueno, Butragueno, sensational. But in terms of this card, it will be a no bueno for me. I don't reckon you should do this card, especially right now as these uh, Primus Prime, Primer, Primer, uh, bloody um, Transformer cards are coming out, uh, Moments cards. Um, I wouldn't do him. I wouldn't do him right now. He's getting an 8.0 in value for coins because it's 1.1 million plus for a card that offers you very little. That's just not a good return. The packs could be a good return in terms of the SBC. The loan is like getting 84 rated team. It's like 50k right there, which is ridiculous in itself. So I spent 50k on this card. I kind of do regret it. Um, I wouldn't even recommend the loan. I really, really wouldn't. 8.9 overall for an icon, a prime icon. That is not very good. That is not great in any sense of the word. And it's probably one of the worst icons I've given a rate since two in terms of that 8.9 rating because with prime icons I expect them all above nine and uh, Butcher Grano he gets below nine as an 8.9 just below a nine. Value of coins 8.0 I reckon he's not worth it man not right now 8.0 
is what I will give him. Yes, he's a goal scorer and a menace on this game, but um, that's all he is. He's a menace and he lacks height, he lacks strength, he lacks uh, four star skills. Uh, he lacks a lot, man. He lacks a lot. Uh, enjoyment rating, eight points to. Uh, Again, if you had a little bit more about him, I'd probably enjoy the card more, but I just didn't get any enjoyment really out of the card. So 8.2 is what I will give him in that category. Foot champs ready? Yes, to a certain extent. His pace is what makes him foot champs ready. The rest of it is um, it's not great with the card. Yes, he's punished me a few times in foot champs and division rivals and whatnot, but for me, he just wasn't cutting the mustard. And uh, that is not Spanish. I think mustard is like English. Uh, no, mustard's French, isn't it? I, I don't know why I'm getting this um, analogy. But anyways, guys, in terms of the perfect links for this card, you've got a few Spanish icons from Puyo to Raul to Hierro and players like that. Strong links, you can go Fernando Torres, you can go Sergio Biscuits, uh, any kind of card, or you can go the icons, which I've put Alan Shearer as, uh, well, he's the best icon in the game, isn't he? So <laughs> i put Alan Shearer in there as well. And as you can see, the, the kind of weak link and all that is always Neymar, unless I've got a Brazilian icon. In terms of similar players, uh, Bis Wissam Benyeda, I was going to say Bissam Wenyeda. Um, yeah, Ben Yedda comes in there because of his height and stuff. He has a small strike on this game. So is Gianfranco Zola and Alejandro Gomez. So that is the reason I've got them in there as well. The key pro will be the pace of the card because he is very, very fast on this game. The key con will be the height. The best game style, in my opinion, my personal opinion, will be Marksman on the card. It goes to a 94 rated striker and um, it's like a 95 rated center forward. Sensational, man. But at the same time, He's, he's, he's not, he doesn't perform to those levels, lads. He doesn't perform to those levels in any way, shape or form in my uh, experience with the card. In terms, yes, he did score nine in like uh, seven games or something like that. But um, at the same time, I expected a little bit better from the card. I'm not going to lie, especially for a prime icon, which I keep referring to. The best, it's still Cruyff. It's still Eusebio. Ronaldinho's in there. Best, Raul, Stoichkov, Figo, Van Basten, Nedved, Socrates. And I'm going to try so many more over the coming weeks with these Primus Prime icons, which um, are coming out very, very soon. But lads, that's going to be it for this Butcher Gano review. Uh, the one you've all wanted to see. I've, I've, I've had so many comments. For Nedved, I had a lot of comments. For uh, Butcher Gueno, I've had so many comments. It's actually ridiculous. And I've caved in those comments. So lads, you better bloody like the video if you have enjoyed. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And as always, I will catch you all next time.